To begin repairs on the center section, the top and bottom cap must be removed and the upper assembly must be disassembled, as described in the chapter, Repairs on the Upper Section. The center section is made up of two center halves. The center halves must be separated to access the inlet valve and the diaphragm. Place the water motor on its side. Use your metal or hard plastic pick to gently work under and remove the o-ring from the bottom of the outlet valve. Place the water motor lower section down into the repair stand. Hold the inlet valve to prevent it from moving and push the actuator T toward the outlet valve. This will cause the inlet valve to unseat from the actuator T. The actuator T and the outlet valve can now be removed from the water motor. Remove the screws which hold the center section together from both the upper and lower sections of the water motor. Using your Phillips head screwdriver and 3 8 inch wrench, remove the screws and nuts from the outside ring of the center section. Place the water motor on its side and remove the remaining two screws that hold the inlet and outlet tees in place. Separate the center halves by gripping each end and pulling them apart using a gentle rocking motion. With the center halves separated, remove and inspect the inlet and outlet valves as well as their valve seals. These should be free from nicks or cuts or other signs of wear. If either valve or valve seal is damaged, it must be replaced. Repairs on the valve or valve seal should be done before reassembly. Next, inspect the diaphragm assembly and the inlet and outlet tees. If any of these parts are broken, damaged, or show wear, they should be replaced. If any portion of the diaphragm assembly is damaged or shows wear, the entire diaphragm assembly must be replaced. Repairs are not possible for this part. If one of the center halves shows wear, it must be replaced. Once you have inspected all parts in the center section and replaced any parts showing wear, you are ready for reassembly. Begin reassembly by placing one center half in the repair stand. The bottom saucer shaped portion should face you. The support post should point down. Insert the diaphragm assembly into the diaphragm piston guide. If properly aligned, the arrow will point towards you. To ensure proper sealing, Lightly lubricate the outer edges of the diaphragm with a food grade silicon gel. Reinsert the outlet tee, which is the longer of the two, into its seat on the left. The threaded fitting should be pointing down and an arrow pointing away from the water motor should be visible. Reinsert the inlet tee, which is the shorter of the two, into its seat on the right. Its tab should sit behind the tab on the outlet tee. Reinsert the inlet valve into the inlet tee. Insert it pointed in down, leaving the top end with the molded plus sign exposed. Replace the sealing O-rings in the grooves around the two center screws. Failure to replace these rings will cause your water motor to leak. Place the two center halves together, making sure the following areas are properly aligned. The inlet valve into the inlet tee the diaphragm assembly into the diaphragm piston guide, and the inlet and outlet tees with their seats and the top center half. With the two center halves properly joined, move the diaphragm assembly up and down several times, leaving it in an up position. This will prevent the diaphragm from being pinched when the two center halves are screwed together. Next, replace and tighten the screws. Replace the inside screws which hold the center section together on both the upper and lower sections of the water motor. Replace the screws and nuts along the outside ring of the center section. Replace the two screws that hold the inlet and outlet tees in place. Be careful not to over tighten the screws as this may strip or damage them. Snap the outlet valve onto the actuator tee. Snap the actuator tee onto the inlet valve. Next, place the water motor on its side and replace the O-ring on the bottom of the outlet valve. Replace the cap on the lower section of the water motor as demonstrated in the chapter, Repairs on the Lower Section. Replace the upper assembly and cap on the upper section as demonstrated in the chapter, Repairs on the Upper Section.